Namaste friends. The Buddha Aditya Yoga is another uh, important yoga. It's a very preferred yoga. It's an auspicious yoga. If you've seen some people who uh, they you know they have the ability to learn anything. You, you it's not like uh, you know this is what I've studied for. This is what I should know. It's not like that. They you, you give them anything and they'll be uh, they'll be a master in that. Not only they know about it, they'll become a master in it. These people they work. Um, alone, they are recluse for the most of the time, they don't talk much, uh, they are very very intelligent people, these people, okay, Buddha Aditya is very very important uh, to notice, um, that is why it's important when a, a child must be casted when a child is born, when a child is born it's important to see what are the yogas that a child has, so based on the yogas we could uh, uh, develop the child in a way that it's in conducive to the child. Say that the child, the child has more uh, interest in art rather than in mathematics. Then we could find avenues to give more on artistic uh, 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 education for the child. Um, so back to the Buddha Aditya. Buddha Aditya folks are highly intelligent. They work alone. Um, they become a master in anything, and they do not brag. That's another thing. It doesn't mean they do everything. They they go, on, you know brag about it they do not uh, boast uh, they they are the people who think that life has many things to be done life is uh, uh, it is a waste of time to brag or to, bo- to boast or to to you know to move about uh, in the mundane activities they do not do that buddha aditya people are if you ask me it's one of the it's a very good personality if you ask me they gain a lot of personal respect uh, and they're always surrounded by comforts and happiness. I mean, they're always gifted by good parents. Uh, the good co- community will help him or her. And, uh, you know, if you have this, then it's a, it's a really good thing for you. Once again, these yogas are not easily to be, um, to be um, pinpointed. Okay, it needs a lot of dynamics. Uh, it requires a lot of features that um, must support the yoga if it's not supported or worse if if it's afflicted with malefic influences then you're not going to get the full power of the uh, buddha aditya yoga so how do you know if you have one uh, if mercury together with sun okay then it's called the buddha aditya yoga it's as straightforward as as it can be if you have mercury with sun then you have the Buddha Aditya Yoga. The name itself it's in its literal sense. Buddha means Mercury. Aditya is another name for the sun, which is why they call Buddha Aditya Yoga. Uh, however, I would like to say again, it is. It doesn't mean you have the sun and Mercury. You you are whatever I just said. There are many things that we need to check. Dynamics is extremely important. I know astrologers out there who do uh, snapshot theory, but uh, that doesn't work. I've been doing this for a long time now, so I know what are the things that we should look for. Okay, friends, so uh, that's about Buddha Aditya. So please stay tuned for more videos. Till the next time, thank you. Namaste.